Uh, Andrew, just tell us what the, uh, the, the French authorities are saying at this stage. Well, yeah, we're just um, getting uh, information trickling through here uh, at the uh, Elysee Palace. Uh, just to, reiter just to uh, reiterate then, uh, that operation carried out on uh, Thursday night by the French army in the uh, north of Burkina Faso, in which uh, two French soldiers were killed and, uh, of course, in which those four hostages were freed, an American woman, a South Korean woman, and uh, those two Frenchmen who uh, had been missing since uh, May the 1st. Now, in a press release, the uh, Elysee Palace has uh, paid tribute to the work of the French army in uh, releasing uh, those uh, hostages and also paid tribute to the uh, two French soldiers who lost their lives. Uh, the Elysee Palace also paying condolences, uh, uh, of course, to the, um, to the families of uh, those two soldiers. Now, just to give a little bit of context, of course, uh, those two Frenchmen who had gone missing, uh, uh, they had been missing since May the 1st. They had been on a safari holiday in the north of Benin uh, when uh, they went missing. Now, the uh, French government has long considered uh, Benin to be a safe place to visit. However, it does uh, warn against uh, traveling to the extreme north of the country where uh, armed groups uh, are known to operate. Perhaps uh, the most uh, well-known of those armed groups uh, operating uh, in the region, uh, an offshoot of the Islamic State group known as the uh, Islamic State of the Greater Sahara. Also worth uh, pointing out that the, uh, the army of Burkina Faso uh, has been uh, carrying out a military operation uh, since March uh, to uh, clamp down on the presence of armed groups, but um, also uh, important to note that up to now uh, there have been uh, no claims of responsibility.